What's up guys? Today we are going to be changing the differential fluid on the M5. So come check it out. All right, boys, as you heard the lady say, we're changing the diff fluid on the BMW M5, and we are going to be using none other than Amsoil 75W140 because I love Amsoil, okay? It's good quality. A lot of people use Redline or Motul, but I've been using Amsoil for years, and that's what I'm going to stick to. So, pretty simple process. I'm going to run it through for you guys. There's a couple write-ups on the forms already so no biggie it's super easy supposedly it takes 1.3 quarts of fluid so i'm gonna drain it see how much we actually get and then we're gonna fill it back in all right now that we're underneath the car here's your differential and you have this brace that i am going to take off because it's going to give easier access to filling the actual diff so 60 mill 60 millimeter bolts two in the back I'm sorry, four in the back, two in the front. The front bolts are longer, so don't mix them up. Let's get them zipped out. All right, and then you slide the panel towards you and you take it out. All right, so quick look here at the back. This is the differential mount, which has been known to fail. Hopefully that does not happen. But here is fill plug, drain plug. You always open your fill plug first to make sure you could get it open. Then you drain it out. Uh, I just got home from work, so the engine is hot. The diff is still hot. So we're gonna get as much fluid as we can out of here. You all know me and I love power tools. So I'm gonna give it a ugga dugga. Oh no, it's already leaking because that means it was filled properly. Let me close it off because it's going to smell like gear oil up in here. Non-magnetic plug. No bueno. Alright, got it loose. Now we're going to let her loose in here. I'm going to try not to let this drop in here, but if it does, it does. All right, so the fluid is looking actually pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. So it's okay. I tried to contact the last owner and I got no response if this was done or not. So I'm just going to do it and have a peace of mind. So as this is trickling out, it looks like we have just a quart in there, which is crazy how little fluid actually is in there. You would figure there'd be more. Ruining my video again, Charlie. 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 Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Anyway, in order to fill the fluid theoretically i could use this squeezy bottle it should give me enough access in there um but i think i'm gonna try this pump out so that way i could exactly see how much i'm putting in exactly so i'll put in two 500 mil which is going to be one quart and that should be pretty pretty easy to measure out so yeah let's get this going Another thing that I'm going to be changing out is the actual drain plugs and these are magnetic. The other ones that are in there are not magnetic so you would think they would be magnetic to catch any small particles. I mean my Lexus ones were so uh, I don't know why BMW is slacking on a high performance differential like this and we're going to replace the o-rings also. Magnetic plug, o-ring in, gonna go and Insert this sucker. Magnetic plugs are a little bit taller. But hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. I mean, I checked clearances. There's nothing inside that it would be touching. I'm gonna suck. 
some fluid into this container here. Now keep in mind, this is pretty thick. I'm trying not to get everything freaking dirty, but we're at 500. Actually a little bit more than five. No, no, because we're not at the top here. Yeah, I'll say we were right about 500. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy in here. And then there is a, so it doesn't go fully in, it's kind of curved. So I'm gonna just kind of guide that in there and gently give her the sauce boys just give her the sauce okay nice and easy don't force anything just give her the juice baby give her the juice so as you can see the fluid coming in is pretty clear the one that came out is not necessarily bad, but like I said, I didn't know when this was changed last. So just for my sake of mind, it's an easy job, not expensive. 1.3 quarts, that's like 40 bucks that you're paying for the fluid, depending where you get it from. So it's not bad at all. And I think this is the easier way, less messy way than doing it from the bottle. And I'm also gonna check, I'm also gonna check guys, if this diff is level, cause it's, you know, it needs to be more or less level. So that way you get the proper amount of fluid in here. All right, second round of injections coming right up. This one was a little, this one was about 400 that I pulled up. So there should theoretically still be nothing overflowing. And then after I put this one in, I'm going to check the level of the of the diff to see if I need to adjust it a little bit up or down. And by that, I mean the whole car. Perfect. All right, so I got my level. Goddamn aluminum. Side to side. Let me show you. Side to side, we are more or less level here but that's not really the important one. Yeah, we are good here. If anything, we're leaning. Oh no, let me see. Yeah, we're good. If anything, we would need to lower it slightly. But that's pretty pretty within spec guys so i'm not complaining about that that i got more or less is 200 i got a little bit maybe more than 200 so 0 0.3 is right here so i'm going to put this in and see if we get some things to start trickling out for us Nice and easy, do it slowly, don't force it because then you're going to get spillage. Let it drip out naturally. Yep, I see it starting to creep over the edge there. You guys will start to see it dripping right now. There you go, you see a slow trickle and it kind of stopped. So 
I'm not satisfied with that. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just maybe another hundred, another hundred, so from here to here, not much just so I could have a nice overflow and then I could cap it. Alrighty, I'm back. I did 200. Get her in there, boys. I wanna see a nice steady trickle coming out of here. Well, nice flow and then a steady trickle. So as you can see now it's speeding up. That's perfect. All right, fully in. And now, once this starts to trickle down, I will insert the plug. I'm pretty sure I had the exact amount when it was slowly tripping out, but I always like to overfill since the can is already open, so might as well. I don't like using it want that you know that open can or bottle again because it's going to aerate so i don't know how that's going to deteriorate the oil over time but let me stop it so that way it's maybe not just pulling by itself still waiting we're almost there i feel like All right, I'm gonna cap it there. I'm gonna give it a second. On the, my Lexus GSF, basically the fill procedure was, you fill it until it starts trickling out and then comes to a trickle, you'd cap it. I mean, this is similar similar concept i mean they have a specific amount 1.3 you know the fluid levels right there at that lip yep that's it cap 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 it up boys and that's how you change your differential fluid on your BMW M5. Clean off this area. With some brake clean. Whew, that is strong. All right, and then don't forget to torque it down. I actually checked, it's 33.6 foot-pounds. All right. We're good there. Put your brace on. And you are, guys, you are done with the differential fluid change. So, coming at you from underneath the M5. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, comment, and let me know your information below. Peace.